question we have to find the current i that is true to ohm resistor so here we have two voltage source and one current source so now we have to take one source at a time that is using superposition theorem right so now if i consider 12 volt voltage source i have to short circuit the 6 volt voltage source and 3 ampere current source if i am considering 3 ampere these both voltage sources should be shorted if I am considering only 6 volt source, I have to short this, I have to open this current source. So always remember, current source will be opened and the voltage source it will be shorted. Okay, so now let us take into consideration this 12 volt source. So first one due to 12 volt source. So what happens? This one will be open, this one will be shorted. So now let us redraw this circuit. This is 12 volts, this is 2 ohms and here we have 4 ohms, right? This is 4 ohms. So now what is the current which is flowing here? So we can say this will be the current. So that will be equal to 12 minus 6i that is equal to 0. I is equal to 2 amperes. So 2 amperes it is flowing in this direction. Okay, so this is due to the 12 volt source. Next, we well, let us consider 3 ampere current source. So, for that you have to short this. You have to take into consideration this 3 ampere source. This is 2 ohm. This is 4 ohms. So, now this is the current. So, that will be 3 into 4. 3 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4. So, this is 2 ampere once again. So, this is 2 ampere once again that is in this direction. So now let us take the 6 volt source. So I will short this 12 voltage source. Then 3 ampere source will be open. Okay. Then we have 4 ohm. And here we have 6 volts. 6 volts and this is 4 ohms. Okay. And you know I am taking the current in this direction. Normally whenever we have this voltage source, we will be taking the direction like this, right? So I am here considering the direction, okay, in this way only. So that is from negative to positive. So let us check that. So this is 2 ohms, this is 4 ohms. So 2i plus 4i minus 6 is equal to 0. I am applying the KVL here. So i is equal to 1 ampere, right? i is equal to 1 ampere. And that is in this direction. 1 ampere in this direction. See the current that is flowing is in this direction. According to that we have same thing 2 ampere 1 ampere. But here you can see the current is flowing in the opposite direction. And the magnitude here is same 2 ampere. And here is also 2 ampere. But it is in opposite directions. So when they are in opposite directions they will be cancelled. Right. So this effect will be cancelled. So the remaining is only 1 ampere. So I is equal to 1 ampere. 1 ampere. So understood why this got cancelled? Because they are flowing in the opposite directions. Okay. So one is flowing like this. Other one is flowing like this. So that will be nullifying it. Right. So we will be getting 0 in this case. So the remaining is 1 ampere. So the current which is flowing to the resistor is 1 ampere.